Okay, for activity two in div positioning, I'm going to get you started and then I'm going to ask you to finish on your own based off of what you already know. To get started, first off, I have gone ahead and copied and pasted some dummy text into a blank page, but the blank page does have a universal clearing selector and it does have some defaults in terms of the background color and the default font. Again, all per our exercises earlier today. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to go ahead and insert a div, but I want that div to actually wrap around some existing text here. So I'm going to highlight this first paragraph of text. I'm going to come up to Insert. And I'm going to go to Layout Object Div Tag and notice that it says wrap around selection and that's appropriate so I'm going to say um, night box that's going to be my night writer box and again in our previous video I had you click OK and then go and make the rule later on however you don't need to do it that way you can click right here where it says new CSS rule and it's going to bring it right back up as a uh, div tag and click OK and I'm going to go ahead and select a, um, a relatively small font here, 0.5 M's. <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, choose, I'll find it, I swear, uh, a font style of um, italic as a variant there. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a color of a dark blue doesn't matter what I choose there for our purposes. You may choose anything you want. In this particular case, I want to go ahead and make this box, um, I'm going to say 250 pixels wide, and I'm going to float this box to the left and click OK, and click OK, and there's my tiny little text there, right? Now notice this particular content will flow up around that box. This is one of the techniques we would use for inserting images as well. But I want you to go ahead and create this element, put this context, this, this content rather, from here to here in its own div box. And then I want you to float that left as well. To top it all off, I want you to position them side by side and perhaps split the uh, division between the two by maybe 10 pixels, much like we did with the three column one. And then you can also play around with the attributes of the, uh, of the boxes themselves. So if you wanted to make the box um, a certain height, if you wanted to make the box background a certain color, if you wanted to make the box background uh, an image that would all be fine. So go ahead and get creative and go ahead and try to finish this out on your own. Talk to you later.